It's become a tradition at college campuses all over the country. Just like socializing on the lawn and cramming for exams, stressing over how to pay for rising college costs. You can't really forget about how much money you owe. Like it's always, it's always going to be there. It's always something you have to deal with. According to a new survey by the College Board, the average public college student now pays $17,000 a year for tuition, room, and board. That results in the average student graduating with $22,000 in student loan debt. So the tuition rates at public institutions are increasing higher this year. However, we know that backing that up, we know that the federal government has reinforced or provided in funding either through Pell Grants, tax credits, or student loan availability. President Obama is expected to outline his plan Wednesday to make college more affordable. College administrators say the federal government needs to step in as states continue to cut funds for higher education. So as the budgets for states get tighter and tighter, education is one of the first things to go away. Uh, no matter what politicians may say about their priorities, it, it, because there's another way to get revenue with tuition, uh, higher education is often one of the first things cut. With less funds available as family income declines and unemployment remains high, struggling college students say they'll take any help paying off loans they can get. I want to pay them off myself just for pride reasons, but there has to be a mechanism for that which I don't feel like exists yet. For the first time ever, total student loan debt passed $1 trillion and now exceeds the country's total credit card debt. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Berkeley, California.